Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim and today we're going to talk about yet another type of therapy that is being worked on by several entities and it includes using something called vascularized islet organoids. Hmm. That's kind of a tongue twister. We'll make it as simple as possible for you and we'll give you a recap of who is working on this type of technology. It's just another example of several entities rushing towards finding the cure for type 1 diabetes. As always, please hit the like and subscribe button. That helps us to get more of this information out to people who can use it around the globe. Now let's find out what vascularized islet organites are and uh, how they may be part of the cure for type 1 diabetes. Cure for T1D in sight with vascularized islet organoids. Vascularized islet organoids, VIOs, are lab-grown, three-dimensional clusters of insulin-producing pancreatic islet cells combined with vascular, blood vessel-forming cells to mimic the structure and function of native pancreatic islets. These organoids are designed to restore insulin production in people with type 1 diabetes by replacing the destroyed or dysfunctional islets with engineered ones that are better able to survive, function, and integrate into the body. What are vascularized islet organoids? VIOs combine. Insulin-producing cells are derived from stem cells or donor islets. Endothelial cells, these form blood vessels within the organoid. Support cells, like mesenchymal or stromal cells, help with structure and signaling. 3D architecture, promotes cell-cell interactions, nutrient exchange, and better survival compared to simple beta-cell clusters. Unlike traditional islet transplants, VIOs include their vascular network, which improves survival post-transplant. Why they matter in type 1 diabetes. T1D is an autoimmune disease where the immune system destroys insulin-producing BIVA cells. Traditional treatments like insulin injections or closed-loop pumps manage glucose but don't restore natural insulin production. VIOs aim to restore endogenous insulin production react more precisely to glucose levels due to native-like microenvironments, reduce or eliminate the need for immunosuppression when combined with encapsulation or immunovasive strategies. Who is working on vascularized islet organoids? Key players, Harvard Stem Cell Institute, Doug Melton's group, now Vertex Pharmaceuticals, pioneered stem cell-derived BSLs and vascularized constructs. Vertex's VX880 is based on related principles, though not explicitly, vascularized organoids. Sigalon Therapeutics, partnered with Eli Lilly, developed encapsulated cell therapies, including vascularized cell capsules, before being acquired by Lilly. Cernova Corp. uses a pre-vascularized cell pouch implantable device seeded with islets, or stem cell-derived B cells. While not technically organoids, the strategy supports vascularization and islet survival. Viacite, acquired by Vertex, developed encapsulated stem cell-derived islets. Some efforts included vascularization for better function. Academic Labs, Cornell University, developed vascularized islet constructs using hydrogel fibers. UCSF, now at Santa Biotechnology, advanced organoid culture and vascularization strategies. Rockefeller University, pioneering vascularized organoid models using human pluripotent stem cells. Challenges and considerations. Immune protection, even if islet organoids work well, they must avoid immune destruction in T1D. Encapsulation, gene editing, or co-delivery of immunomodulators are being tested. Scalability, manufacturing large consistent batches of VIOs is complex. Longevity, need to show multi-year durability of insulin independence in humans. Outlook vascularized islet organoids represent one of the most promising paths toward a functional cure for T1D. By mimicking the native islet environment and incorporating vascular support, they significantly improve cell survival, glucose responsiveness, and insulin release, critical factors for long-term success in patients. 
Type 1 Diabetic Warriors finds this particular approach very intriguing and will follow this progress carefully and report back. So the big takeaway here is uh, vascularized islet organoids. They're using the vascular system along with other technologies to try and again, get the end result of a cure. It's just another interesting technology. But what I find most interesting is that several of the players in here are already the big names who are looking at multiple technologies to protect the transplanted cells. Now they're also going to integrate vascular technology using the vascular system of the particular diabetic to try and accomplish this goal. It's all about protecting those cells. Uh, but we see big names like Viacite and Vertex, along with others, we have mention of the cell pouch. So you see how all of these things are really heading in the same direction and the ultimate cure may use multiple technologies uh, in the end, and it may include multiple companies. So that's another spin on where we're headed with all of this and this technology. And like I like to remind you guys from time to time, we've made more progress in the last 15 years with these new technologies than people talking about diabetes in the laboratory and writing papers. Uh, you know, we've made more progress in 15 years than they've made in the last 75 years toward getting to a cure. So I remain an optimist and uh, I hope you got something out of this. It was kind of complicated, but the bottom line is lots of people are working on it, big names in the industry. And uh, I find that very pleasing and very reassuring. Hey, thank you for sticking around with us today here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. We're going to have another video for you in just a few days. Until then, take care of yourself, and you and I will talk again real soon. Have a great day.